Lord delivered us from all the power of darkness and has translated us and put us into the kingdom of his dear son. Oh, somebody say, thank you, Lord. 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 Oh, I thank you. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. He is our Savior, our Deliverer, our Protector, our Provider, our Healer. He is all this and more. The scripture tells us, says, pray one for another that you may be healed. Now, he wouldn't tell us to pray for each other to be healed if it might not be his will for us to be healed. That'd leave us hopelessly confused. No, it is his will. It is his will. And something that my father in the faith, Kenneth Hagin, said the Lord revealed to him during a visitation, he said, uh, the Lord told him that any time any of his people go through any kind of a procedure or surgery or uh, something like that. He said, ask me, the Lord said, to speed up the healing. Did you hear that phrase? Ask me to speed up the healing. Now, you know, every normal healthy body has a, a, an amount of healing in it. If you scrape your hand or your knee, it'll heal up if everything's normal. Well, that's healing. So there's no intelligent person who doesn't believe in healing. It's, it's everywhere. But here's the thing. Where that healing came from, there's more. Oh, somebody say praise God. So if you've been dealing with something or you've been, you know, you're, you're overcoming, but it's gradual and slow, we're going to ask the Lord to increase the healing power and to speed up the healing power working in your body so you can come out quickly. Can you say amen? amen? All things are possible to him or her that believes and we believe. Somebody say, I believe. I believe. So Father, in the name of Jesus, we lift up every brother, every sister, every young person, every child that's being represented in this tonight and everybody that will be watching later. And you said to your servant, ask me to speed up and increase the healing. So we're asking you to do that. In everybody that, that needs something in these areas, we ask you, Lord, we know that in a normal healthy body, in a certain amount of time, they would recover. But we're asking you to increase that, to double it, to triple it, to quadruple it, times 10, times 50, times 100. We're asking you, Lord, increase it. Let healing be multiplied in bodies under the sound of our voice all over the country and in other countries. Said out loud, be healed, be restored, be made whole, be strong in the name of Jesus. Oh, somebody say, I receive it. I receive it. I believe. I take it now. I receive it into myself into my body, we speak in Jesus' name, immune system be quickened, respiratory system be quickened, circulatory system be quickened, nervous system be quickened in the name of Jesus. From the top of your head to the soles of your feet, be made alive, be healed, be quickened in Jesus' name. Oh, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. <laughs> he healed me. Everybody say, He healed me. He healed me. He healed me. He healed me. I'm so glad that the Lord healed me. Healed me. If it had not been for Jesus, where would I be? I'm so glad.
trust is in you. We rest in you. We rely on you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You know, we, uh, some months ago, we uh, confessed the 91st Psalm. You remember that? All the way through. And you know, it ended up in verse 16, the, the last verse, with long life. I'll satisfy him, the Lord said, and show him my salvation. One, says I, one translation says, I'll show him how I can save. And the reason there's a verse 16 is because of the previous 15 verses. The reason you, you made it to old age and, and satisfied is because the, the arrow didn't get you and the pestilence didn't get you and the plague and the, all those things didn't get you. The Lord sustained you and kept you and you made it all the way and you ran your entire race and finished your whole course. Then you went on to be with the Lord when you and He were good and ready for you to go. Can you say amen? That means so be it. So be it. Said out loud, with long life, He will satisfy me and show me His salvation. Let's say it together another time. With long life, He will satisfy me and show me his salvation. One more time. With long life, He will satisfy me and show me His salvation. Oh, praise God. Praise God. Well, you know, it is the Bible. Do you believe it? It's the Bible. I didn't write it. You didn't write it. It is the Word of God. And that's stronger and more powerful than anything else. Heaven and earth will pass away, but that Word will still be standing. We're so glad to be with you this evening, even though it's remotely. Aren't we glad that we can be, you know? Decades ago, this would not have been possible, but praise God because of the technology and because of the prosperity, the ability to have the equipment and to do all this and all, our, you know, everybody that's involved. Thank God that the Word is still flowing out through many places, not just us, but many places. Well, you can be seated.